Right folks, today I'm uh, going to review my new Ninja, it's the AF300 UK, it's the uh, dual zone technology, so you've got two big trays there. So let's start off, so it's actually quite a big unit as you can see, um, it's got to be close to nearly 500mm width, um, so you do need a fair bit of um, worktop space, I, I lucky enough to put mine in the cupboard when we don't use it. So you have about a metre long cable. Um, and I simply just plug that in. Um, and that's your, that's your Ninja. So if you turn it on, bingo. You get two trays. The trays are a decent size. Oh, we cut some chips last night, just got to clean that out. And you have two removable trays there. Very easy to clean, so I just usually rinse them out afterwards. And this is your second tray there. You do get two sets of instructions. You get a quick um, start guide and you get the instructions, the black and white one. A bit weird that the start guides are like three times as thick as the paper version, um, but that is what it is. Um, so within the, the quick guide, you do get some recipes, matches, synchronization. So it is worth a good old read, but give you some hints on how to sort of, um, and what, what sort of time to cook certain things. Um, some of it is you've got to get used to how you cook. So obviously you've got your max crisp, your air fry, your roast, you reheat, you dehydrate and you bake. So I've been using the air fry. Um, on, on the sort of frozen chips you get from the um, from the supermarkets, fantastic. Our chicken um, strips are really good. Um, I'm going to try roast uh, in in a week or so. You just gotta you gotta you gotta work with it to understand what it does. So <coughs> you've got an on button there, so which we just pressed on comes with that. So you're onto one. So choose which way you want to do. So if we just say air fry, then you go to temperature. So you've got the two buttons there, so you can actually see just move them where you want, and then set your timer, and then you go to time. So your time automatically comes up as 20. So just go down, just move it down to whatever you want done and then go over to number two so you've got probably chips or something in there you've got what you want to put something in there exactly the same tray so let's go to the temperature is oh you've got to pick your air fry so we'll do air fry again temperature see this side's already set so it says eight minutes so let's keep this one done 200 and let's do the time on we'll make it nine minutes oops going the wrong way now so nine minutes done the lights are on one and two then if you press the start button here it does it and as you can see this side's doing automatically we're both doing actually so i should have pressed sync so let's stop that i didn't press the sync so let's start it over again so one temp air fry time my apologies for that. Five. Then number two, we do temp, oh, air fry, temp. Because I'm videoing, I'm getting a bit confused. Time, let's go down to six minutes. Sync, start. As you can see, it's holding now, so that won't kick on for a minute. So what you've actually got then, you've actually got a match button so you can match both together. Um, so we'll leave it a minute. Let me just show you some more bits of bobs inside the instructions here. You've got six cooking programs. Your max crisp is uh, for frozen foods such as french fries and nuggets. Your air fry is for frozen foods like chicken wings and your favourite frozen snacks. Your roast is your roast potatoes and meats. You reheat, if you've got some leftover dinner from yesterday, like we have today, we'll be heating that up today. Dehydrate, best for making veggie, fruit crisps and jerky. And obviously your bake, best way for making cakes. Um, it's not a fantastic big tray for that, but I imagine you can do some small cupcakes and things like that. So in 11 seconds, the other one will go off hold and it will start cooking. And obviously they both cook at the same temperature. You see the yellow's on bowl, so it's cooking, and the, and the one isn't. Here we go. Bingo, there you are, both together. You can just smell it a little bit. 
it does stay warm once you've used for a little bit um, before you put it away other than that it's actually a fantastic piece of kit worth having and it saves having all that mess of oil